in this test, I'm going to do a test volumetric rendering using the new EEVEE -E -E rendering engine in uh, Blender 2.8. 2.8 is not out yet, but you can still download test builds. And I will put a link in the description of this video so you can download uh, a test build. All right. What I have here is, uh, let me expand this out a little bit. I have uh, on one monitor on my computer, I have Blender 2.8 open with the EEV engine active. And it's set up for volumetric. And anyone who's ever rendered anything that's volumetric rendering in cycles, you know that it takes forever. Well, you can do volumetric with E E V E E also, or E V also. So I'm going to show you how quick it is compared to cycles. Give you an idea. This one one frame right here would take cycles with my GTX 1060 about 45 minutes maybe an hour if I wanted to you know make it look a little bit better with some more samples but with EV it just takes a few seconds I'll show you see now you can see it rendering over here frame by frame and then you can see the output right here there's no and if or buts about it this is fast been going for what about a minute now and it's already up to 30 frames it's taking literally about let's see one two taking less than three seconds per frame to render a to do a volumetric rendering in EV I'm blown away by this I, it's boggling my mind that it's that fast. Now there's one thing for sure. It does not look as good as cycles. However, when the, you know, cycles does look better, but it's not so much better that it's worth you know, the whole uh, waiting around an hour per a frame, especially on something like this, like this test right here, I have uh, 1,600 frames. That would be 1,600 hours. What's 1,600 hours? That's what, nine weeks? If I'd done my math right? How many hours are in a week? One thousand six hundred divided by one hundred and sixty-eight. Nine and a half weeks is what it would take to render that, to render this entire scene in cycles with my GTX 1060. And yet, I'm already, it's already up to frame 77 and it's only been going a couple of minutes. I'm gonna let this go ahead and finish and then I'll show you the final animation.
Alrighty, it's just about finished rendering those 1600 frames in Eevee. I think it took about an hour. Let's look at the timestamp on the frames. 11.39 and it'd take about an hour and 15 minutes is what it's going to take. But I could see one issue. I don't know if it's a setting that I don't have quite right, but there's no shadows. I'm assuming that there's a setting that's not right, but I'm not 100% sure. If someone knows, let me know. But I'm going to take a quick look once this finishes in a couple seconds. Alright, it's finished now. Let's see if there's something obvious that I missed that uh, will make it, that will fix the shadow issue. thing on that, so I, I don't know. Hmm, maybe it's something on the lights. Hmm. I'm not sure. If anybody knows why shadows aren't showing up right let me know I'm I don't have a clue at this point but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and assemble these frames and then play it for you right now let me know what you think later people